Welcome guys, week three of the vlog. Um, we had an off day yesterday, so I didn't do nothing. Spent time with my family. And um, yeah, today we start practicing again, double. Um, the whole week until Saturday when we play Leiden. Uh, important game, if we win that, I think we, um, we really show that we can do something in this league this year. So um, yeah, let's see how it goes, let's follow the week. I, I'm not sure if we're gonna do anything special. I'm gonna invite Shaw, a rookie from last video, to dinner tonight, so let's see if he comes and um, yeah, let's get it. Uh, Cleveland pineapples. Shit, what did you play? Hoezo ben ik niet uitgenodigd voor het eten vanavond? <laughs> <laughs> wat is het nou? Hé, hey, daar zit wel wat in. Ja, toch? Ja. Hoe je komt? Oh, Nick, uh, je belt me niet om Fortnite te spelen. Je belt me niet om naar de spa. <laughs> Getting ready for practice. <laughs> you're I'm excited. already. Huh? You excited for practice? Yes. Okay. I love basketball. <laughs> What's up, guys? Here with my rookie. Say hi. What's up? Well, we're gonna have some practice today. A little bit, not too much. A little video. And after that, he's coming to my place to eat. You excited? Yeah, very excited. Oh, yeah. My girl's gonna make, uh, I don't know what she's gonna make, some soup. Woo! So, uh, then I'm gonna beat this as a Mario Kart. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. Yeah, final to zero. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you expect a final this year, man. Champions League finalist? Of course. Champions uh, back to back. Come oh, on. Oh, okay, okay. Ciao, what do you think of the food, man? It's perfect. It's really great. Yeah. Give it a 1 out of 10. Yeah, I will give it a 10 out of 10 because Woo! I'm really full. And if I could take some home, I probably would. So, Woo! yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what do you think of that? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Well, I came in first, he came in fourth. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. This is my boy Jack, say hi. What's up? Jack is injured at the moment, so I just wanted to ask him uh, how he's feeling, how he's doing, when he's coming back. Yeah. The people, man. I mean, I'm feeling good. I'll be back in two weeks. And, uh, and uh, I just had surgery for a broken foot. So, it is what it is. But I just get to hang out and watch Terrence shoot a bunch of threes in the meantime. What's up, Dion? Good morning. Good morning. How was shooting, man? Gaat zijn gangetje, man. Gaat zijn gangetje. Are you talking English? Oh, it's just uh, I'm doing fine, man. Just some shooting. I'm going to lift some weights now. Okay. Yeah, it's a good morning, man. It's a good morning. He allowed you oh, to film? Oh, yeah, filming. I allowed him. It's for the, it's for the documentary, right? Documentary. Uh, Netflix documentary. Uh, last dance. First dance. Uh, last dance. First and last dance. Uh, can uh, my American guys help me with the translation, or you, you guys know what it means? Yeah, we know. There is not really American. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the explanation of resilience is the capacity to withstand uh, the difficulties. So the synonym would be toughness. Uh, some toughness we build already in the uh, weight room, but I'm not talking only about the physical toughness. Uh, it's the psychological toughness that gets you to, through the life difficulties too. Uh, but the second uh, meaning of uh, resilience is not just like be tough, be strong, it's also uh, be anti-fragile to environment. So if you imagine uh, the bamboo uh, tree uh, in the monsoon weather in the jungle or uh, in Asia, there's a lot of like harsh conditions there, the monsoons, the winds, the, the rain uh, and the bamboo is not like just uh, in the ground strong as fuck the bamboo goes with the environment kind of it's like a elastic okay if it's be too too tough on the ground it's gonna go away with the wind so 
so to withstand the, the, the conditions of uh, or an environment with like life, you, you need to go with the flow too, not just being like tough as hell. And that's just the point. Be resilient in your life, and that's it. It is called character, but let's go. It's family round three. One, two, three. Family. Hey, good work, guys. Okay. See you. Take it is that you have to adapt to the situation. English, man. English. YouTube is English. For the Netherlands on the How do you like the story, man? I like it, man. You like it? Yeah, it's good. Like, you have to fight through and, like, get used to the situation. You like a bamboo? It's like a away game, you know, it's different, but... Like, different environment, and we still got to compete. Yeah, how you feeling about this weekend, this Saturday? Good, man. I'm ready to go. We'll check it out today. And, uh, yeah. It's been a while, though. It is, it is. So I'm saying you lost a step. How do you respond to your headers? Ooh, like a minor setback, major comeback, you know? Oh, okay, okay. You heard it here first, man. Always. New vlog, man. I don't know how you call it. Like. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'll take you to fun, dude. All right, look. Yeah? Yeah. Hope we get some minutes. What's up, man? What do you think, boy? Think uh, about what? <laughs> okay. Nice. Gonna enjoy it. It's positive today. Looks like it's gonna be a good game. About what? You good? You look good, bro. What up, man? Um, it's the day after the game. Uh, we lost yesterday. I played pretty good though. Um, I do have to say I'm satisfied with my performance. So uh, that's good. Um, yeah, I think we should have won. It's a good team, uh, Leiden, but uh, I still think we should have beat them uh, yesterday. Um, but well, yeah, you win some, you lose some. So uh, up to the next one. Now this uh, today we've practiced because we play on Tuesday. Uh, first European game and then uh, tonight some guys are going to come over to eat some uh, food here at our place. So uh, yeah, I'll show you that and that will be the end of the vlog.
Oh, what's up, bro? Introduce yourself. So, my name is uh, Rok Razdevšek. I'm from Slovenia. I'm a strength coach. I love basketball. That's it. Okay. How you got here to the Netherlands? Uh, I got. I searched for a full-time strength and conditioning role for a professional basketball team. It was uh, like a six-month journey for me, and then um, I got connected with uh, our GM Alexander, and uh, we worked out the de details. And now I'm here. How do you compare the culture in the Netherlands to the one in Slovenia back home? I would say the Netherlands is a little bit more Western European culture uh, compared to Slovenia. So uh, people here are a little bit more open. Um, and yeah, the, the, there's a difference with the weather, of course. How do you compare like the mentality of athletes if you compare those who you've trained in the past? Mm -hmm. So athletes like your brother, this and that, and us in this team, how do you compare? Like, what are the main things you notice right away? Coming here, yeah. uh, I would say uh, for me the biggest difference was uh, working uh, for a team full time during the season. Mm -hmm. Before I worked out with uh, athletes, uh, with basketball players in the off season. So off season is totally different uh, from the in season. In the off season you train in the weight room four or five times a week. Uh, you, you push a little bit more uh, with the physical side. During the season, you have to manage the, the fires, manage the loads. Uh, we still uh, lift hard, but you, you just have to pick your spots a little bit more because uh, basketball is the main part. What would you recommend players, um, doesn't matter what age, to what should they do in the, in the weight room or whatever to improve? Uh, at first, uh, finding the, the right coach, uh, finding your strength coach to teach you the simple movement patterns, to teach you how to warm up, how to train. Uh, and after that, uh, if you find the right uh, spot, the right coach, uh, just return every summer, keep working, keep improving. Um, and yeah, uh, even if you don't become a professional basketball player, uh, the weight room, the, the sport is gonna give you lessons for, uh, for life to be successful father, business uh, in business. Uh, to be a better human being. What do you think me as a player should improve to be a better player? I mean, when I first got here and uh, talked to you, uh, you have a big injury history. You're like, uh, and I always love challenges. Mm -hmm. So like you're uh, out of the ordinary tall, you have different uh, characteristics. So we have to train a little bit different than a six foot uh, athlete. Yeah. Um, so uh, for you, I think uh, you, you, you build your habits good, it just, uh, just to keep an eye on you, just to show you maybe some new ideas, uh, maybe even uh, you have a big uh, uh, work ethic uh, that you don't do too much during the season. Uh, so basically to say to you, hey, maybe tomorrow take the day off, uh, maybe let's do something different, so you're not, uh, you're not uh, overreaching at the early part of the season. But, uh, it's uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. You have a big heart. Uh, if uh, somebody who doesn't know Terence, he's he's looked at a big scary guy, but uh, inside he's like a like a teddy bear. Like he has big heart. He, he cares for the team. Sometimes you challenge me, you you mess with me, but it's all in uh, all in like uh, love. So uh, I would say. Uh, we're, we're growing as a team because everybody's new here and we have ways to go and we're on the right path right now. <laughs> hey, good one, good one. Good job, Lucia. What are you doing here, boy? <laughs> Suck you off, dude. <laughs>